this demonstration, we're going to look at the different program types provided by Avanti. There are query applications, there are posting transactions, there is setup applications, and there's also applications like order entry. So let's start off with a simple customer price query. Simply click on the tile, the customer price query will open up. Every single place where there's a key field, we provide something called a predictive search. So as you start typing, the predictive search will start to show you information for that particular field. I'll select customer number one. The system sets the focus directly to the next field and I'll type in a stock code, A100, simply select the first one. And by default, it puts in quantity one. And in this case, I'm going to say, for that particular customer, that stock code, I'd like to find out the best price for quantity of five. Here you can see all the best price details, the last price details, the previous price details. We can look at some customer discount details, stock code details. Everything is available to the user. We can look at some inventory pricing for this particular customer and stock code, contracts if you have any, as well as order discounts. So the idea with the query application is that we don't bombard you with a lot of information. We show you the information when you want to see it. By clicking on the home button, returns you back to the main menu. And now we can look at maybe doing a cost change. So I will look for the application that does cost changes. Click on that. That will then load up the cost change application. I'm going to type in a warehouse. Again, you will notice the predictive search pops up. I'll select A100. Everything is being driven by the mouse and the keyboard. I'll now type in the new price is going to be $425. Tab off of that. And with a simple click of a button, we can now post that transaction through. The transaction is now posted through. We can see some stock code information by clicking on the stock code information to expand it. We can also see the journal by actually clicking on that and viewing the journal entry. Once you're done, you can simply click on the home button and it will show you the journal number produced for that particular cost change. The next thing we'd probably like to look at is something called sales order entry where people spend most of their time in. We we'll click on the sales order entry button and you will notice the application from a simplicity point of view sets the focus to the very first field called customer. You put in your customer code and I'm simply going to press it enter and we can call this customer purchase order number demo 54321 press the tab key put in the different order dates or the ship dates once you've completed all of the delivery information simply click on the add stock line button this will then allow you to put in a warehouse where you'd like to take the stock from put in a stock code as well it will show you all the relevant information about this particular stock code we can then move on to stock code information. We can see various different pieces of stock code information, quantity on hand, what's on back order. All I'm simply going to do is put in a quantity of one, click on the save button. That in theory will allow you to also add in some bin, lots, bins and cereals. I'll simply just put in a bin allocation, add that to the list. And now my entries for that are complete. Once I'm done, Click on the close button to close that window and maybe I would like to add a freight line. So I'll simply just go and add freight for a thousand dollars and the cost for that will probably be about four hundred dollars and I'll simply click the save button. Once I'm done adding freight, click on the close button. Again, my grid will be updated. If I wanted to, I could refresh the totals and what I have here is a card. The card is showing me that I have 30% of my values making up the net merchandise and actually 64% is making up the freight cost. It shows you the order in local currency. It also shows it to you in the order currency. We have something called a carousel in here where you can see the original values through to the invoice values as well as what the outstanding values are. If you don't need to see this information in detail, simply shrink the card and it will show you a summary of that information. Once you're done, simply click on the complete order button. You have the opportunity to produce an inventory delivery note or an invoice. We're simply going to end the order and move out of there. The last program we will look at is perhaps the customer 
maintenance application. So what we'll do is go to the menu. We'll search for a program called customers. Once the customers application is then selected, it will then open up. Shows all the basic information. So I'll simply just select my customer number one, which I've always been doing in my demonstration. We can see the very basic information is shown. If we want to see the tax information, we can change that. Credit checking, what are the credit checking terms for this particular customer along with its credit limit. So let's say I would like to change that to be 98. Tab off of that, the save button is enabled. I can then change their telephone number to be 4500. Once I'm done, simply click on the save button. Lastly, we can look at how we improved or how we can do quick orders. So there's a sales order entry application, which allows us to capture an order via a grid. I'm simply going to select a customer. Once I've selected the customer, I can click on add a new record. We have the opportunity to add a stocked line, a non-stock line, freight line, comment line, miscellaneous line. I'm going to put in a warehouse. Okay. Once I'm done adding the warehouse, I can put in a stock code, press the tab key. I have the opportunity to change the description. I'm simply going to put in quantity one, press the tab key. If I needed to produce any allocations, again, I can click to add any allocations. I have fixed bins turn on as an example, add that to the list. And I've now created my order as simple as that.